the manage rubrics tool shows up over here in the, the left menu. Now, one thing to note is that this tool is visible to instructors. By default, it is not visible to students. So you don't have to make the tool available to students um, to have them see their graded rubric feedback. Um, that's something that they get automatically in um, the tool where it's attached, like in the assignment tool or in the grade book. Um, so the manage rubrics area is really for the instructor to create new rubrics, edit rubrics, um, and share rubrics. So when you go to that uh, tool, you'll see a list of any rubrics that are in the current course. And one thing to note is that uh, rubrics are attached to the course, not the user. So if you go into a course that you're maybe team teaching with someone, um, you might see rubrics created by different people if there's more than one instructor. Like for example, on this site, um, some of them were created by the Sakai administrator and some of them were created by the Sakai instructor. Um, it's only one course, but they both happen to be in there as instructors creating rubrics. Um, so to create a rubric, you would click the add rubric button down here at the bottom, and then it will add a new rubric to the list for the site and you have the opportunity to rename it. Um, so you can type in whatever title you would like and hit save. And then it shows up in the list with the name that you've given it. And you can toggle this um, arrow open to, to see the details and edit the actual criteria. So once you click on that, it will expand out the rubric and you'll see that it has some sample criteria that are in there by default. These are just sort of a starting point. You can use these or delete them, um, whichever you prefer. Um, you can edit what's there simply by clicking on any of the little edit pencils to edit that particular criteria or one of the ratings related to it. And you have an area to put a title as well as um, some descriptive text. So that might be something where you would explain more about what that criteria um, entails, or maybe explain a little bit more about what a meets expectations would, would mean in the context of a particular assignment. So all of that is editable and you can add additional ratings if you want, or you can delete some of them if you don't need as many. Um, so all of that is available as you edit an actual um, rubric.